I'm Karen Grebe from Scandinavian Today. I am going to bake one of my favorite cookies. Uh, it's individual pieces of crunchy cake. And of course we do make a large cake, also called crunchy cake, and that is used for special occasions like weddings and certain anniversaries or New Year's evening. But today I'm making the individual pieces. It's pretty easy to make and uh, it's very popular both in Denmark and Norway. I'm sure you will like it and very few ingredients. So let's get going with it. And here we have the ingredients for my crunchy cake. We have eight ounces of marzipan, four ounces of sugar. I have one really large egg white and then I'm going to use powdered sugar mixed with water to decorate the crunchy cake with. The first step is to mix the egg white with the sugar, which I'm doing now. And then I'm going to leave it for about 30 minutes. You can leave it up to an hour if you want. This way oh, the sugar will get dissolved in the egg white. So I'm cutting up the marzipan in small pieces. So I'm slicing, it's almost done. And then I can mix it with the sugar. All right. And I pour the sugar and egg white mixture into a bowl so I can mix it up with the marzipan. and the marzipan goes in. And then I'm going to mix it up with my mixer, electric mixer, because that seems to be the easiest way of doing it. So I'm taking the marzipan out of the bowl and I'm going to shape it into a long roll. And then eventually I'm going to make it into shape it into triangles. And just put it together. And now make a long roll of the marzipan. Keep rolling until it has the approximately right size. Actually, I think I'll cut it in two. And then I'm going to shape it. In fact, I'm, I have some a bowl with cold water. I'll shape it with we'll stick the knife in the water, and now kind of tr make it into a, somewhat like a, a triangle shape. It's a little sticky, but when you dip it in your hands or the knife in the water, then it doesn't stick. And I slice, slice it into about three inches each. So I finished shaping the marzipan pieces and I buttered and floured the baking sheet. I'm going to put it in the oven now and the oven has been set at 390. I will bake it for approximately 16 minutes until they are light and golden brown. So they go in the oven now. I'm mixing the powdered sugar with some water and of course you don't want it to be too thin. If you think it's too thin, just add a little bit more sugar. This is just about right, I think. And I pour the glaze in a plastic bag. I put the plastic bag in a, cup, in a glass because it's easier to pour it in. It 
this and of course I cut off a tiny hole at the bottom here. Okay, I got my kinds of K out of the oven. As you can see, they're a little bit brown on top here, which is fine, but you don't want them to get too brown. And now I can start spraying on the glaze. I think this is a really nice touch to them. And that was the first one. And I'll continue with all of them. So my Krantike has cooled down. And of course now I have to taste it. I just love Krantike. I could eat it all the time. But of course I better not. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. I'm going to have a bite with my cup of coffee. So. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Wonderful. I love the flavor. I like the chewiness. Mmm, it's good. So delicious. And hopefully you also like it and make it. It is actually pretty easy to make, which is nice. It's good. Have a wonderful day and please subscribe to our channel. We do appreciate it very much. Let's go again.